morning everybody um it's time for another daily pattern but i before i start i had a request um from somebody to please show the completed project um of my uh frame thing for uh my husband for pastor karen so here we go let me see if i can get that up close enough so you can see it without a lot of glare that's what it looked like when I was all finished. The um, I took a picture of it. There's the um, shadow box. Uh, there's the frame. We cut out the, the middle part so I could put her picture behind. And then down in the corner is the flower that he wanted to keep. So um, I think it came out really good. Um, anyway, I wanted to show that to you first. Now let me get to... That's not what I want. I want this one. Okay. All right. So to find today's daily pattern, go to pattern-collections.com and scroll down to pattern focus, which will get you the list of daily patterns. And today we want July 5th. I'm going to open that nice and big. This one is uh, one by Shazia, and it's called Taj. And it's a very organic tangle, as you can see. This one looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's uh, look up at it closely. Ugh. What is the deal with the, that light is just in the wrong place, okay. Okay, so step number one is this sort of leaf shape. It looks like it's open at the bottom and I don't know yet why, but, oh, I see. Okay, so you leave it open at the bottom. Step two, and it shows making a little mark here and here. Not too sure why you would actually need to do that other than shows you kind of where you're headed. Um, step two is to make this sort of uh, crescent kind of a shape here, connecting here and here, leaving that space down at the bottom open, and then do another one on this side. Step number three, I don't know why you need to make those little marks there, but it's to make marks there. And step four is to do another crescent. I don't need to make marks part way down. I just need to just go and do it. And then step five. Now it shows more than, more than one of these. So it looks like you can just build, keep building those crescents about halfway down each side with a quarter, a half, you know, a little bit more until you have the shape the way you want it. And then you fill it and embellish it like that. Or however it feels comfortable for you. This one looks like they've done it going two different directions and filled it with some Fill it in with some sparkle. I really like that. So let's just see how things grow. We're supposed to be using string number 40 this week. I've already, oops, I've already uh, very lightly sketched it out here on my tile. And uh, let's just see how we want to incorporate that. I'm not sure I do. But let's see what happens. I think I'm going to put one going this way. So I'm going to use this, this shape right there. And I'm going to go up against this line here. 
Kind of like that and like this. Something like that. And then part way up, we're gonna come from here. I'm gonna come with a crescent shape and back again. And from here, we're gonna come up and do a crescent shape and back again, like that. And then once again, we're gonna take this and do a crescent shape Come back and a crescent shape and come back and make it whatever size we want it to do. Let's do one more crescent shape and come back and a crescent shape and come back. Something like that. I think it needs a a little one like that and maybe something like that. Why not? Right? Okay, so I've got that one and then I want another something here and I think I want to do it this way using the string going this direction. So I'm going to actually going to start it right there. is working really well to just not even stop my pen and just kind of do it like that. Very cool, organic, interesting shape. I think I want more coming out here though. Something like that. And then this one also needs an extra one coming come out. It'll come behind. It'll come to there and then out to here. And then behind there and there and there. Ha ha ha. Okay. So on this one, I think I'm gonna embellish with, I like the, the print tops that they used in the sample, so I'm going to do that as well. I think I want it filled in, in the background. So on this one, I'm kind of doing the, um, if this is the petal, I'm doing the behind shape. Oh no, I'm not. Hmm, I guess I'm doing the petal shape. <laughs> hmm, okay. Actually want another, I want a little buffer between, between that and that. I want to do this behind shape. And I think I want Just do that. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, but it's what it feels right. So
So how was your guys' 4th of July? Mine was quiet. Husband went out for a bike ride on his new bike, on his new road bike. And uh, he thought he was going to go out for a short little ride. 53 miles later, he comes home. I'm not upset at him. I just, <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Oh, I'm just going to go take a little ride. It's like, where are you? He uses an app on his phone that keeps track of his GPS location and, and it goes live so I can um, keep track of where he is. So I just opened that app and and watched his progress. Um, so I knew where he was, but um, it was funny because every time I thought he was headed toward home, he'd get to where I thought he should turn down to come toward our house and he would turn around and go back the other way. He just kept going back and forth and back and forth across the city. Uh, it was funny to watch him go. And I was like, where, where where were you going? You know, oh, I was having fun. I didn't want to stop. I'm going to put a middle piece in this. I want a middle piece. And I like I like that sparkle that they did on this. And I'm going to actually switch over to my brush pen. Where is it? There it is. I think I want the sparkle right here, right at the main bend part. Like that. Right in that section. If you guys don't know what sparkle is, just type in sparkle in my search in the search bar on my channel and you will find the video that explains sparkle. Basically, it's leaving a white area that looks like a highlight. But I have a whole video on on how to decide where to put your sparkle. Um, kind of how to go about it. So after my husband's bike ride, he came home, we just, he took a shower and then a nap and it was quiet around the house because my son wasn't home yet. He got home late. He enjoyed himself for his birthday up north. At my brother and sister-in-law's. He visited his cousins. He had a great old time. And so we, once the sun started going down and people started doing fireworks, my husband and I took a little walk. We walked over to the, uh, to the Rite Aid. We were going to get ice cream. Because, you know, got to have an ice cream cone at the Rite Aid. Well, the line was super long. Like, there was nobody doing anything else but getting ice cream at the Rite Aid. So we went back to the coolers and their ice cream, the half gallons or whatever they are considered size now. They're not half gallon anymore, but you know, the one and a half quart. Uh, ice cream tubs were on sale, buy one, get one free. So we just bought two tubs of ice cream and brought it back home. And had ourselves a bowl of ice cream instead of a cone. But that worked. And so we enjoyed watching the neighborhood fireworks and the, it was like walking through a war zone. But, uh, yeah pretty crazy. So 
we took our walk and we came home. We got home about 15 minutes before our son made it home. So then we all just enjoyed a quiet evening. Did a little birthday celebration with my son and yeah, listened to his stories about what he did over the weekend. This goes this way, a little bit right there, and then this, whatever this is here. All right, I like it. I really like it. <clears throat> I feel like I didn't get enough here though. I need to do one more. I've got, got one more petal on this side than I have on this side. So I'm going to just draw it in there. It's gonna come out and it's gonna come around like that. And it's gonna come behind like that. And then it's gonna come this way and then this way and this way right in there something like that like that that looks more balanced i feel like it needs something but i'm not too sure what it's it's speaking to me it wants, it wants, what does it want? I think it just wants a border. Let me erase this because it's not, that's not where it wants the border. Where I have my string, my, my initial string border, it doesn't want it there. It wants it further inside, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it way in here. the parts I don't want because that's what I do okay and I'm gonna come back again and put it a little bit more distinct right there like so, and then the little blendy, blendy tool. Blend toward this direction. like that. I missed that spot. I didn't erase there. I didn't put enough pencil there. Like that. I like it. You guys like it? I like it. I need a little I need a little bit of shadow 
right here in the curves of this one. Just on the one side on the curvy bit. Really make those look like ribbons that are like standing up. do I need to do? I need to do a little bit on these. Um, these ones need just, oh, and I need here where they overlap. That's what I'm missing. I'm missing this overlap. And I'll just do a little bit in the middle. Just because. we go. Perfect. I like it. Okay. Let's put our name on here. It's called, how is it going to live? It's going to live that way? Yeah, I think so. T-A-A-J. On string number 40. You don't really see much of the string, but it's it's here. It's there. I know that it's there. Okay. That one was pretty fun. I knew I would like it as soon as I saw it because it's a, a, organic. I love the organic ones. You guys know that. Not that I'm not good at doing the, the uh, grids because I'm getting much better at grids. Uh, with all this practice, I have gotten much better at grids, but Organics are still near and dear to my heart. Okay, so that's the end of the day. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, go out and do something nice for somebody today. Bless the world, and the world will turn around and bless you back. I will see you later. Bye-bye.